What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance, aka Shadow Blade, Blade, or Demon King Virus. Now, there's something that, you know, I've been noticing. This is actually firing back, I guess, somebody who wants to constantly sit there and talk shit. And that somebody is Eric Scrubbelo. Now, if y'all know, me and Eric used to work in the past, and there's a reason why I stopped working with him. It's because mentally, his mind state is the fact that he's not humble. He doesn't, you know, like he's just arrogant. Like he thinks that he can destroy people's careers. Like he thinks he can destroy my career, but nah. <laughs> and I've honestly had about enough of his fucking mouth. Because through a friend of mine, I found out that he was talking shit about me. Well, you know what, Eric? You continue to think that you're hot shit, but you're really not, dude. Like, you want to come at me and take shots at me? Well, dude, you better learn who you're taking shots at, man. See, you might be a badass to some people and to your fans, but you sure as fuck ain't fool with me, homie. You think that you can fuck me up? Go ahead and go ahead and continue thinking that, man. Go ahead. Because in the end of the day, you can't fuck me up. You can't do shit. You're a washed up rapper who's pissed off that he didn't make it in life. Because, see, if you were to make it, you'd be up there with me. You'd be up there on Spotify, Google Play, iTunes. Dude, I got my music all over the fucking world. And where do you got it? Maybe there are a few fans here and there, but you know what? You're not fooling me, dude. You're a fake and you know it. You're a fucking wolf in sheep's clothing, man. You're not fooling anybody. You sure as fuck ain't fooling me. So, you think you can fuck me up? Go ahead and keep thinking that. Because, see, that's where me and you differ. Well, actually, there's a couple places. One, I'm humble towards my fans. Like, every time they, you know, say, hey, I like your stuff, I'm humble towards that, but you're not. You always think that you're hot shit, but you're nothing. And your mindset is you can take on anybody and fuck anybody up. Nigga, no, you can't. You can take shots at me all you want and it wouldn't do any good. Because, see, compared to you, I'm a fucking god. I'm a god in the underground music scene, dude. I get fans every fucking day. Message me and tell me how my music helped them, how my music saved them. How they enjoy my music. So, compared to you, man, I'm a fucking god. And look at you, you're a false god. You're pretending to be shit that you're not. And stop trying to fucking say that you can fuck me up because you can't fuck me up. The only person you can fuck up is yourself. You think you can end my career? Try it. It didn't work before and it's not going to work now, man. So why don't you just give up? Why don't you just give up on trying to end my career, dude? You know, I, I thought we were brothers. I really did. I thought we were brothers. But the reason why I said what I said to you about how you need to get to where you need to be mentally is because you're not where you need to be mentally, dude. You're really not. Like, you're not humble towards hardly anybody. You got way too many fucking bitches on your damn profile, so you're always, like, going after these chicks instead of going after the right one who truly gives a fuck about you. And, dude, like, you you think you're a badass, but you're not. You're not a badass, Eric. So, like I said, man, keep taking your shots at me, Eric. Your shots that you're throwing at me, homie, they don't fucking phase me. I take shots from niggas like you, and dudes like fucking I'm Bob Sanders on live.me all the time. 
But guess what? I'm still here, rocking my shit, doing my thing. So you want to keep taking shots at me, scrub? Go ahead. I don't give a fuck. Because at the end of the day, we all know (laughs) that you are not ever going to be like me. We all know that you cannot destroy my career. And I've proved that more than once. I'm sick and tired of you running your mouth. So you want to talk shit to me? Go ahead, dude. I don't give a fuck. Like I said, I'm tired of you running your goddamn mouth all day. Because, you know, while I'm out here busting my ass, making my music, promoting it, and doing what I got to do to make a living for myself, what are you doing? Putting out music through fucking... Reverb Nation and show that, and that's all well and good. But, dude, you got to step up your game if you want to make it. You need to be putting your shit out on the fucking Spotify, fucking iTunes, Google Play Store. If you want to step up to my level, dude, you got to do that. And I can help you with that if you want to help with that. I have no problem with that. But, honestly, dude, stop running your fucking mouth. Sorry, Tess, but on this one, I ain't going to stop. Because this dude needs to be taught a lesson. He's ran his mouth for too fucking long. Because like I said, Eric, that's your problem. You think you're a hard ass. You think you're the best in the world. But really, compared to the world... You're just another artist, man. Do I feel you deserve a shot? Yes, I do. But honestly, man, you need to stop acting like you can end people's careers. Seriously, you need to stop. I tried talking to you about it. I tried telling you that you're not mentally where you need to be. But you, you don't want to hear it. You, you think that I'm wrong. You think that you're where you need to be. No, you're not where you need to be. And this just proved that. You're too hot-headed and too hot-tempered. The only reason why I'm firing back is because I've seen what you said. And I've had about enough of you talking shit. I really had it. You know, we used to be brothers. We really did. You know, we were brothers for years. I don't know what changed between us. I don't know what happened. But honestly, man, you need to stop running your mouth. Because, like, you know, at the end of the day, I'm out here making money and providing for my family. While you're over there sitting there smoking a goddamn blunt talking shit about me. Every day I'm in the studio. Every day I'm busting my ass. And you you might think I'm a shit DJ. That's fine. That's on you. But you know what? Your one bullshit comment compared to the rest of the world don't mean shit. Because like I said, to you I might be a shit DJ, but to the rest of the world, I'm something. To the rest of the world, they enjoy my music. They like what I do. Oh, and by the way, I'm not a DJ, man. I'm a music artist. Get it right. Just because I spin beats and I do vocals all at the same time, don't make me a DJ. Because I'm not a DJ. I'm a music artist. Get it right. Because, like, dude, like, compared to me... Like, a comparison between me and you is like comparing Eminem to Soldier Boy. It ain't happening. So, like I said, man, you, you want to keep talking shit towards me, scrub, go ahead. I don't give a fuck. Because, like I said, when it comes to the music world, compared to you, I'm a god. And if I wasn't a god in the underground, then why have I worked with guys like the legendary Possessed One? Legends like fucking Elucidus, C. West, 
Why have I gotten the chance to work with guys like Julian Solano for Nightcore? I've gotten to work with um, the queen of J and K-pop, Boa Kwan. So don't sit there and say that I'm not anything, homie. I've worked with more people than you can fucking imagine, bro. I've made a name for myself, and I've earned myself to where I've gotten now. I've, I've earned my spot. But you, you haven't earned shit. All you've earned is a swift kick in the fucking ass, which you're getting right now from me. So if you're going to talk shit and think that you can, you know, end, your, end somebody's career or my career or whatever, <laughs> you may as well just quit music altogether. Because you know what, dude? I really gave a fuck about you, Eric. I really did. But now I see that giving a fuck about you was wrong. Because every time somebody goes off and does their own thing, you get bitchy and pissed off. And you know what? I'm done with it, dude. I'm done with being stuck under your fucking thumb. Like, you act like it's all about you, but it's not, Eric. You need to learn to humble the fuck up because it's not about you. This ain't about you anymore, man. You need to stop thinking about just yourself and start thinking about everybody because you're not thinking about everybody. You're only thinking about yourself and how you can draw in, you know, more people into your life about how you're such this big artist. Well, dude, you're not such a big artist. If you were a big artist, you'd be playing shows. Granted, yes, I had to cancel my show for this month, but that wasn't my fault. It was because the fucking owner didn't have the fucking times right and couldn't give me a correct date. So I had to cancel. What do you freaking do? There'll be more shows. But unlike you, man, at least I take pride in everybody. Unlike you, I don't just think about myself. I don't sit there and act like I'm the best in the world. Because I don't. I don't think I'm the best in the world. I know there's people out there better than me. But whenever somebody comes up to me and says, hey, I enjoyed your music, it means a lot to me. Just because you got a few fans of music doesn't make you the best in the underground. It really doesn't. I know a lot of people that are far better than you are. Far better. And one of them just happens to be Bloodshot Records' very own Ian Ducksworth. So like I said, keep running your mouth. Go ahead. I don't give a fuck, dude. So like I said, you want to take shots at me? (laughs) Go ahead. Because at the end of the day, you are nothing compared to me. Your shots, they don't phase me, dude. And if you think you can end my career, <laughs> which will never happen, <laughs> go ahead and keep trying. Because the only career you're ending is your own. Your own arrogance is going to be your own downfall. And that's the sad truth of it. Your arrogance is going to be your downfall. That's going to be why you're not, you're going to end up not doing music. It's because you're too fucking arrogant. You're too stuck up, dude. Like, honestly, the whole, you know, shit of you thinking that you can fuck me up and that you can end my career, just stop. Because you can't end my career. And you and I both know this. You cannot end my career. And you cannot fuck me up. It's never going to happen, dude. It's never going to happen. So why even try? Like, honestly, I I honestly, I almost feel bad for you. I really do. Like, I almost feel bad for you because you think that you're such this badass dude when you're not and you're too busy getting in your own fucking way to realize, you know, the people that you're pissing off around you. Like I said, you can show all your little friends and this and that and da da da. I don't give a fuck because you know what? At the end of the day, your friends are just like you. The ones that you tell this shit about to are just like you. 
all your little fans are fakes. So you want to come at me? Be my guest. You're more than welcome because at the end of the day, you will fail. And that, and that's sad. Like, you know, you used to have talent. You used to have skill. But anymore, you're nothing. You're washed up. You may, you need to just quit music, man, and find another career. Because obviously, you're too hot-tempered for this career. And that's your issue. Is you're way too hot-tempered. You go off on people way too fucking much. You let these people... Bitches that don't give a fuck about you control you. And it's sad. I honestly thought you were better than that, Eric. I really did. So like I said, you want to continue taking shots at me? Be my guest, dude. Be my motherfucking guest. I'm tired of your mouth. And I'm tired of you thinking that you can stop me when you can't. So you want to take shots? Here I am. But we all know your shots aren't going to phase me. So why even bother? Because compared to you, man, I'm bulletproof. So go ahead and keep talking shit.